The history of Onitsha is said to have begun with the migration of its people from the Benin Empire towards the end of the early part of the 16th century as a result of a wave of unrest, war and displacement unleashed by the Jihad from North Africa. According to oral history, it was during their passage through the outskirts of Ileife that they acquired the name Onicha, a corruption of Orisha Udu. Another version has it that their migration to east of the Niger has to do with a misunderstanding that arose between the Onicha family and Oba Esigi following the slighting of their shrine Udo by the Oba. It was customary for a newly installed Oba to pay homage to all important shrines in the Benin Kingdom by slaughtering a cow in the shrine's enclave. But Oba Esigi is said to have refused to do this at the Onicha people's Udo shrine, hence the quarrel and the migration down towards the River Niger area and across it. The immigrant settlers from Benin were said to have been helped by the Igalas to cross the river to settle in Onicha in the 16th century, which was originally called Adondo. Following the abolition of slavery in the 19th century, trading in palm canal and other cash crops boomed around the river ports. In 1857, British traders in palm oil established a permanent station in the city and Christian missionaries soon followed, headed by Yoruba Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder and an evil reverend John Taylor. Onicha became part of the British Protectorate in 1884, which as a result made British colonial government and Christian missionaries to penetrate most of Igbo land, setting up their administration schools and churches through the river ports at Onicha. Immigrants from the hinterland were drawn to the emerging boom town as did the British traders who settled there and coordinated the palm oil and cash crop trade. Even to today, the white colonial style of buildings such as you see in Lagos can be seen existing side by side with the new buildings on these streets. In 1965, the Asaba Onicha Bridge was built and opened in January 1966 by Prime Minister Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa. The bridge runs across the River Niger to replace the ferry crossing. Today, plans are underway to build the second Niger Bridge. Onicha is made up of three groups of people. The first are the Edos, the second are the Igalas, they are the people that were fishing by the Niger at the time the Onicha people came to settle there. The third are the Igbos, who are very close to the Niger and had integrated with it. These three groups make up what is today known as Onicha. The ones with Edo influence are the monarchy itself, the Ezechima, that is the ruling villages. The present Obi of Onicha is Igwe Nemeka Alfred Achebe. The 78-year-old king became the 21st Obi of Onicha on May 14, 2002. Achebe is presently the Chancellor of Amadou Bello University in Zaria, a post he has held since 2015. The Onicha people were among the first Igbos to embrace Western education, producing notable people, some of which include Dr. Benjamin Nnamdi Azikiwe, the first President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from 1963 to 1966, Ben Enwongo, painter and sculptor. The Enwongo crater on the planet Mercury is named in his honor. Sir Louis Mbanefo, the first person to qualify as a lawyer from eastern Nigeria, and Major Emmanuel Arinze Ifajuna, the first black African to win a gold medal at an international sporting event when he won at the 1954 British Empire and Commonwealth Games in Vancouver, Canada. He later joined the Nigerian Army and as a major, played a principal role in the January 15, 1966 military coup d'etat that brought an end to the First Republic. Others are Philip Emagwali, Olisa Agbakoba, Okpabi Asika and Alexander Chuka Iwobi.